Hello everyone. Today we shall see a very important process, compression molding. We will see historical of this process, operation, machine, transfer molding and troubleshooting. Historical information. It is also known as matched die molding. A charge of thermosetting material is placed in the cavity in the female mold when it is open. The mold is closed by bringing together the male and female mold halves. Pressure is exerted to squeeze the resin so that it can uniformly fill the mold cavity. The compression molding process is described here in a schematic way. There is a strong and sturdy base on which mold cavity which is also called as female mold is fitted. The material is charged into the cavity, the mold is heated and the hot and soft material is pressed with sufficient force so that cavity is completely filled. Mold is then cooled, pressure is maintained even when material is cooled. After the mold is cooled, male mold is lifted upwards, the product is ejected so that press is ready for the next shot. Process description in a slightly different form, a typical mold is shown over here. The molded part as you can see on the right side is final product. So, material is charged, mold is closed, material hardens, mold opens, product is removed. The molding cycle is shown here that how the molding clamp force changes with time. Initially, till the mold is being lowered down, material is charged that is known as the time of T F pressure slowly increases, then the pressure is kept constant, then compression starts and at the end of the operation the pressure reduces. Now the three types that we had seen closing, first is flash type. You can see that male and female molds, the flash coming out ensures that the mold cavity is completely filled. Now in the second point that is positive type, the gap between female mold and the male mold is so small that there is no way that any material will come out from that very narrow gap and therefore there is no flash over here. While as in the third one which is a combination of this what happens is that the gap is small like what we have seen in the part B but the gap is slightly more so that a small flash comes out not a continuous flash as what we saw in the first one. The complete flash is most easy to operate. Part B is more difficult to operate, part C is in between. This is a typical compression molding machine on an industrial scale. At this point, we can also see what are the troubleshooting, external blisters, possibly presence of moisture, mold temperature may be too high, inadequate curing time or insufficient pressure. There may be internal voids, insufficient material loading or mold is too hot, insufficient degassing or insufficient cure time. It could be poor gloss, excessive release agent, poor mold finish or press closing too slowly, sticking of material to the mold, incorrect or insufficient release agent, low or non-uniform temperature, mold polish is inadequate and insufficient cure time. 